Hello, welcome to our video. Today we're having a look at this uh, Android 10.2 uh, inch tablet PC. First of all, let's uh, just quickly go through what you get with the, uh, the tablet. You get uh, an English manual. Um, this manual is okay, but some of it unfortunately is not relevant because it, it refers to the Android 2.2. Um, this tablet's been upgraded to the 2.3 system, so some of it's not relevant, but it's still helpful if you do need to use it. We also give you the uh, the power charger cable. As you can see, it's a, a foreign one, so we give you the adapter so you can use it in the UK, just like that. And you also get a pair of headphones. They're not bad, but um, you probably want to use your own headphones because they're, they're only a 3.5 millimeter headphone, so you can quite easily use your own. And finally. Um, this is uh, capable of GPS so you get an external GPS receiver um, so you may want to use that okay so let's have a look at the the tablet let's have a look on the outside first of all uh, as I said before 10.2 inch um, screen let's have a look at some of the ports on the side we've got a RJ45 port um, so you can directly put it into your router um, to access the net. Obviously you've got your power port there. We've got HDMI out which is fantastic and we've got two USB ports and finally on here we've got a compact uh, micro sorry micro SD port there. So uh, and finally here we've got um, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the top we've got a Wi-Fi on and off switch, we've got the two stereo speakers on either side, we've got a, a home button, a menu button, up down rocker for the volume and on and off button and there's your external GPS port there. Okay so there we have it, there's the outside. Let's uh, turn it on and have a quick play. Okay, so this is our uh, Android's home screen. We just touch to unlock, just like that. Now, first of all, let me tell you that this tablet is 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 very nice for the money. Um, you know, we're, we're charging a fantastic price for this tablet. For the money, it's superb. But what you must bear in mind, this is an entry-level tablet. So as long as your expectations are towards that, you're going to be very happy with this tablet. Now, it is touchscreen. Um, but um, it's a capacitive, I mean, sorry, resistive touchscreen. So with a resistive touchscreen, you do have to use your fingernails to make it respond. With a capacitive, you can just touch. Um, with a resistive one, you, you do have to use your fingernails. Obviously, obviously a resistive uh, screen would cost much more, and then obviously this wouldn't become so attractive. So I did say you can use your fingers, but this also comes with a handy little stylus at the top. Just in the top there, I can get the stylus out and it's quite handy to use. Now going back to the, the Android desktop here, you have several screens. I have five screens which I can uh, add things to. On here I've already added a few things like a clock, a weather widget and a few shortcut icons. If I scroll across I've got further screens. I've added, added a BBC News widget. I've added a, a quick sort of Wi-Fi switching off brightness and stuff like that. On the other side I've got nothing. And on here I've got another weather widget. Now you can add um, your own widgets and your own shortcuts to it. So it's fully customizable. Let's have a, go, have a look on here. On here we've got the internet button, we've got the app tray and this is like our uh, picture uh, menu so we can have a look at pictures on our memory cards, our media uh, pictures and videos. First of all let's click on the internet and uh, connect to the internet. There we are, we've got Google on here 
and uh, let's let's search for us. So the on-screen on-screen keyboard comes up. As you can see, I'm not paying attention. I made a mistake already. So let's go back again. We're ready on here. There we are, that brings us up. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's great for browsing the internet, connect onto your Wi Fi, um, directly connect it with the RJ45 uh, network port or the Wi Fi. Now, a quick point about the Wi Fi the Wi Fi range on this tablet is okay. Um, providing you're on the same floor, so downstairs or near your router, you're going to get a fairly good connection. If you go further away, um, you may have trouble connecting, um, so it's best to use it near the router. Okay, the next button on here we've got is our app tray button. So if we click that, that brings up um, our app tray. Our app tray contains all the different applications and games that we have installed on the, the tablet. So as you can see, I've already added a, a few things on here, um, just playing around um, and added a few things. You can go and add things by downloading on the internet, putting onto a memory card and installing on here um, quite easily. There is the Android market on here, but uh, the Android market on here only displays the free applications. There's no paid applications as such. So if there's a specific application that is not on here, you may want to search for it online, uh, put it on a memory card put it on the side and install it from the memory card but um, you know it's there if you do need to um, find some applications I've found some applications uh, free ones like the BBC news on here um, that I've installed so there's there's quite eno enough on here okay um, let's uh, let's talk about the other use of this now I would probably use this tablet as as a YouTube viewer sitting and uh, watching YouTube videos and things and also a video viewer um, watching videos off the memory card or USB stick um, but let's have a quick look at a, a YouTube clip to show you um, how nice the screen is um, Let's have a look at the new Avengers trailer, shall we? There we are. As you can see, the Avengers plays quite nicely on here. Um, so YouTube does play um, quite smooth, and it loads up very quickly. Obviously, it's all depending on your uh, internet connection. So yeah, this tablet would be great for sort of having a browse on the internet and uh, watching YouTube clips. The other thing I would use it for is an e-reader. I've downloaded this great e-reader called Moon Reader. Um, where I can, uh, you know, download um, new books. A lot of book, a lot of books are uh, free to download, um, and you can download books directly from this application, um, which is great. Okay, so once you've uh, downloaded an ebook or um, read it from the memory card, um, you can you can read it on here. As you can see, it's nice and bright um, and it's very clear as well um, so it's it's a wonderful size screen to, to, to read ebooks and things 
Um, one thing I like about this application um, is I can switch um, the switch the uh, the contrast um, round. So if I do uh, this, I can have the background in black and the writing in white. Now that's particularly useful in bed um, where you don't want it too bright, hurting your eyes and uh, you know, keeping your partner awake. Um, so this this application lets you do that. So again, that's a, another use for this tablet in bed reading books or on the sofa reading books, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now let's talk about um, games on this tablet. Now, games are probably not suitable for this tablet. If you're going to download sort of complicated games or 3D games or racing games, you're going to encounter problems. However, if it's just sort of simple puzzle games, um, it shouldn't be no problem. Um, so providing they're simple, easy puzzle games, you should be okay. But um, don't expect sort of 3D games and things. So this puzzle game that I've got here will work absolutely fine. It's nice and simple. It's a bit of fun. It passes the time. That's all you really need, really. Okay, so one of the things that it does do um, quite well um, is Angry Birds. It does play that fine. Now this Angry Birds is the most popular game on tablets, um, so it does play that quite well. And if you haven't played Angry Birds before, it's very addictive and, and very fun. Um, and on this screen, you know, such a large 10.2 inch screen, it's uh, it's quite uh, quite good indeed. Okay, so we're loaded up now. So there you have it, there's Angry Birds, and that works uh, pretty well indeed. Okay, so let's go to our final thing down here. That goes through my memory card and goes through my pictures and videos. So let's have a look at some pictures. Now, viewing pictures on this is lovely because the screen is so, um, so big and, and vibrant. Um, the other thing this uh, tablet has is uh, an orientation sensor. So if I was to switch it over this way, it knows I've switched it this way, portrait, and it flips the image over. And I can simply browse through all the images I have on my memory card or the tablet. Um, now the tablet has got um, eight gigabytes of built-in uh, memory but um, it's very easily upgraded why the micro SD card um, you can upgrade it quite easily but um, 8 gigs um, is quite a lot of memory actually um, so it's plenty for you to store your videos and your pictures talking about videos let's have a have a quick look at the the video playback quality
So there you have it on the uh, the video playback. As you can see, the the playback quality is uh, rather good. Um, so you know it's a good screen. Okay, I think that's it really. Um, so let's quickly summarise this tablet. First of all, it's a, it's an entry level tablet. So make sure your expectations are for an entry level tablet. But saying that, you know, what I would use this tablet for is connecting to your Wi-Fi network at home, doing the odd bit of browsing the internet, reading books, um, and playing videos. So you could give this to your kids on a trip, um, or if you're going on a holiday, to keep them entertained, uh, watch videos, um, browse the internet, read some books. Those are the main things that I use this tablet for. Gaming wise, I, I wouldn't recommend it. But for everything else, if you want a cheap, inexpensive tablet with a, with a nice screen which pays back videos superbly, this is the tablet that I would go for. It's inexpensive, unlike other tablets. If you break it, it's not going to be the end of the world. If you lose it, it's not going to be the end of the world. So I highly recommend this tablet for those for that purpose. So if you're in the market for a tablet such as this, do hurry because I think at this price, um, this tablet's not going to last long. Thanks for watching our video.